Kang Kang from China's Hunan province was born with an abnormality called transverse facial cleft, which gives him the appearance of having two faces. His parents finally managed to save enough money for the expensive treatment at the People Liberation Army's military hospital. Doctors who have seen Kang Kang have said that the baby is a completely normal child other than his facial deformity where it looks as though he is wearing a mask. A facial cleft is an opening or gap in the face, or a malformation of a part of the face. Facial clefts is a collective term for all sorts of clefts. All structures like bone, soft tissue, skin etc. can be affected. Didier Montalvo, from rural Colombia developed congenital melanocytic nevus, which causes moles to grow all over the body at an incredibly fast rate. As a result of this disease, a mole grew so large that it covered Didier's entire back. He was dubbed Turtle Boy by his peers as the huge mole looked like an extra attached shell. Apparently, Didier was conceived on an eclipse and the locals believed his mole was the work of the devil. For this reason, he was shunned by other children and banned from the local school. When British surgeon Neil Bulstrode heard about Didier's condition, he traveled to Bogota so he could operate and remove the mole. Didier was six years old when the surgery was performed. It was a success and the whole mole was excised. After the operation, Didier now goes to school and lives a normal, happy life. Ganga and Jamuna Mundal, known professionally as the Spider Girls and the Spider Sisters, are conjoined twins from India. The twins are joined at the abdomen and pelvis, have four arms, and three legs, two of which are fused into a single, nine-toed limb, which remains concealed behind their body. They share a stomach, but have two hearts, two kidneys, one liver, and one reproductive tract. The twins have been examined by doctors to determine whether or not they can be separated. However, they have no plans to do so because they feel it would be against God's will, carry too great a medical risk, and would rob them of their employment. They have stated we are happy as we are. The family will starve if we are separated. Lakshmi Tatma is an Indian girl born in 2005, having four arms and four legs. She was actually one of a pair of conjoined twins one of which was headless because its head had atrophied and chest had not fully developed in the womb, causing the appearance of one child with four arms and four legs. Her parents were laborers and couldn't afford the expensive surgery to remove the extra limbs. Luckily, 30 doctors from Sparsh Hospital in Bangalore did her surgery for free. A Chinese hospital has released images of a six-year-old boy who was born with 15 fingers and 16 toes. Since more isn't always better, he'll soon undergo surgery to have the extras removed. With a total of 31 fingers and toes, the boy, whose identity hasn't been revealed, has beaten the previous record of 25. According to scientists, the excess of fingers and toes is a result of gene mutation called polydactylism. An Indian mother who could not afford to pay for ultrasound said she had no idea she was carrying a child who had two heads. The two-headed baby has two necks and two separate spines but only one body. This means they share most vital organs. Sadly the baby died after battling to survive for a remarkable 20 days. They suffered respiratory problems from the moment they arrived, and they just seemed to deteriorate as each day passed. In the end it was their heart that gave up and they died of heart failure. At first there didn't seem to be anything unusual about the Tyson Smith who, in 2010, reported to Verona, Italy emergency room. He was short of breath, sweating, and had low blood pressure, cardiovascular trouble, no doubt. Emergency room doctors see similar symptoms all the time. At first, doctors thought they had a typical case of cardiac arrest until they examined the patient more closely and noticed his unusual medical condition. It turns out that the man actually wasn't born with two hearts. 
His second heart arrived after an earlier medical procedure on his original heart. Doctors managed to save the life of Tyson Smith who suffered dueling heart attacks. It might seem unusual for a woman to have two uteruses, but the condition, known as uterine Delphys, occurs in about 1 in 1,000 women. In fact, Hannah Kersey, her mother, and her sister all have two wombs. But Hannah made history in 2006 when she gave birth to triplets. The British woman had identical twins Ruby and Tilly, who were born from one womb, and Grace, who was born from the other. There have been about 70 known pregnancies in separate wombs in the past 100 years, but the case of triplets is the first of its kind and doctors estimate the likelihood is about 1 in 25 million. Jasmine Tri-Devil is a 21-year-old licensed massage therapist from Florida, who has recently undergone a $20,000 surgery in order to have three breasts, or so she claims. Since the venture she has been excessively sharing photos and videos of her unique cleverage on social media. She even created a fan page for herself, describing herself as a woman who got a third breast implant, she claims that she didn't get the surgery in order to be more attractive but quite the opposite. She says she hopes this addition to her physique will put an end to her dating days. Jasmine hasn't revealed the name of her surgeon under the excuse of having signed confidentiality papers. Francesco Lentini was born in 1889 as the twelfth child in his family. He was born with three legs two sets of genitals and one rudimentary foot growing from the knee of his third leg. When his parents refused to acknowledge him, his aunt raised him but eventually handed him over to a home for disabled children. As a child Lantini had hated his extra body parts until he spent time at the home. There, he met children who were deaf, blind, and mute. He also learned to walk, ice skate, and jump rope. At the age of eight, Lentini moved from Italy to the U.S. and entered the side show business as the Great Lentini, joining the Ringling Brothers Circus Act. Lentini had a three-legged rival named George Lippert who also had two fully functioning hearts. Lentini married Teresa Murray and they had four children. Frank Lentini died in Jacksonville, Florida on September 22, 1966. It doesn't happen very often, but people do grow horns. They're called cutaneous horns and they are the result of a wide range of epidermal lesions. According to the World Journal of Surgical Oncology, cutaneous horns appear in men over 55 and women over 65. Besides being one of the few people to live over 100 years, 101-year-old Zhang Ruofang has another trait that separates her from just about everyone else on the planet. This granny, from Linglu village, China, has a goat-like horn coming out of the left side of her forehead. It began as a small lump, that Zhang and her family ignored, but it turned into a regular horn that now measures 6 centimeters. Rudy Santos, born 1953 and known by his stage name Octoman, is a man from the Philippines who suffers from a rare condition known as parasitic twin. He is the oldest recorded person in history to ever live with it. Remaining from his parasitic sibling are an extra leg and couple of arms, including shoulders and an extra pair of nipples, all of them attached to Rudy's pelvis and protruding from his abdomen. Also, an undeveloped head is attached to his sternum, presenting an incipient ear and a patch of hair. Additionally, Rudy's own right leg is severely deformed, ending on a stump at the height of the knee disabling him from walking without the use of crutches. Many other cases are also reported. Deepak Kumar Paz Wan from India was also suffering from parasitic twin but now after surgery, he is totally fine. Alfie Clamp has become the only person in the world to be diagnosed with an extra strand in his DNA in 2011, he was just two year old at the time. Brave Alfie Clamp was born blind and with severe disabilities, which led doctors to conduct various tests. 
They reveal that his seventh chromosome has an extra strand of material which has never been documented anywhere in the world before. Doctors are baffled at his condition, which is so rare that it does not have a name. They also have no idea whether his condition will improve or reduce his life expectancy. His parents, Gemma and Richard Clamp, only discovered something was wrong with their son after they first took him home. Within days, he was rushed back to the hospital after he stopped breathing and his lips turned blue. Then when he was six weeks old, doctors discovered that he had a rare abnormality in his DNA. A man with two functioning penises took questions on Reddit's Ask Me Anything and it was unlike any other Q&A, you're likely to read, amassing more than 15,000 comments. The man, who calls himself Double Dick Dude DDD, was born with Defalia, a rare congenital condition that causes him to have two sex organs. There are reportedly around 100 cases of Defalia worldwide. Both penises are in the 6-inch range, but DDD says that one can get as large as 7 inches if he's really aroused. DDD also helpfully provided evidence in the form of two extremely graphic photographs that are too explicit to post in this video. He also published a book named Double Header, My Life with Two Penises. Hazel Jones always wonder why she suffered from terrible cramps and heavy periods during puberty. However, it wasn't until she turned 18 that she was given her astonishing diagnosis. She has two vaginas. The blonde 30-year-old woman from Highcom has the million and one condition called uterus didelphes, which means that she has two separate uteruses and cervixes. Hazel went to the doctor after her long-term boyfriend told her that she was different in the genital area. Hazel says that she is comfortable with having the condition, despite the fact that she had to lose her virginity not once but twice. Hopefully not at the same time with a guy with two penis.